What do you found? A masher. The last masher. Happy? Yeah. Awesome. It's mid. <laughs> Here we are again. We're in Carnarvon this time and we're just stocked up from Woolies. Got a masher? Masher, yeah. <laughs> Happy with that. And um, filled up with water just around the corner there. Free water. Now we're getting some diesel and then we're going to head to... Nalu. Nalu. And um, we've got two nights there. We'll try and record some stuff there again. And uh, yeah, it should be good. Anyway, let's hit the road. So we made it to the King Waves Kill sign. It's the first time you've seen it? Down that way, we've got Nalu, Red Bluff, and Quabba. Yeah. I think we're gonna check out the blowholes first, get some gear out, and try and come back and get a photo with everything under there. I sound like a plan. Plan stand. So she's just jumped out, and the hair's going everywhere because it's blowing a gale. But um, we'll take a walk down there and have a look at these little blowholes. See if we can catch them in action, I guess. I don't know if you can hear that in the video with this bloody wind, but there's just the power behind them. Incredible. Well, it sounds incredible coming through those blowholes. This all looks new from last time we were here, which uh, I'm guessing it's only a matter of time before they try and get everyone to stick to the paths. But it's good, but unfortunately it's closed. It's collapsed down there, so only time will tell, I guess. again here but just uh, aired down again dropped them all to 20 psi and had a quick look at the caravan checked it all out before we head down these corrugations here but everything seems all right so we're uh, we're gonna head on in there after we got these photos so let's get into it and we're just passing Bobber on the way in you can see it down there it looks a bit windy but um, so far the road's been all right not too bad Sat on about 60 the whole way in and um, not too many corrugations. But anyway, we'll keep going past Quabba on to uh, the next one, Red Bluff. 
50 k's away, I think it is. So, pulled up at Red Bluff. And we're gonna have a quick look down here. See if we can catch some of the surfers out surfing. Some good footage. But, um, we'll show you a bit of Red Bluff. The road's been pretty average from the last, from Quabba. Um, a whole heap of puddles like this and a load of corrugations just from the weather, I guess. Here we are, Red Bluff. It's pretty windy and pretty um, calm. There's a few blokes out there surfing, but not enough to warrant me to send the drone out there. But uh, how good is it? It's a beautiful little beach. Plenty of fishing, plenty of surfing. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Fully booked as well, apparently. Yeah. We're not staying here, so we'll uh, keep moving on to the next one, I guess. But yeah, Red Bluff, top little spot. We made it to Nalu. And I'm pretty sure the road gets a bit hairy in here. I think it does. We'll see how we go. So, anyway, we got here. We're at um, Three Mile Bay. I don't know camp. if you can see that. Three Mile Camp, sorry. A bit of glare there. But um, yeah, we've got two nights here. How much is it? 20 a night each. 20 a night each. It's a bit pricey, but it's a nice little spot. So, um, what is that, 80 bucks for two nights? Should be worth it, hopefully. Oh, done a bit of mischief here. Lines come undone. That's all right. Get that. Still got my chair. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So we got her in there. She's all set up. Happy days. The only problem is though is we couldn't get her around the other way to face the ocean, but um. Just the only way that the camp was set up. Anywho, now they're all set up, I think we're gonna head down to Nalu Bay and try and catch the sunset, I guess. But um, yeah, 25A, unless your door was on the other side. That's the way it's gonna be. Check that out. It's the, uh, the endless problems with the King spotlights. Still on there. Amazingly, just no longer tight. Just the things you see <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. I don't know how he's brought that down here, but he has. So he, yeah, he, he has. Good on him. Good luck to him. Exactly. He's um. He's brought a Commodore down to Nalo, up to Nalo. When there's a will, there's a way. It depends which way he's come from, actually. There's only one way in. Up or down. Yeah, but if he's coming uh, north, then he's coming down. Ah. But anyway, I reckon his uh, suspension's knackered. Well and truly knackered. Is she going to know how to work the gate? Extremely English lady with an extremely Australian gait. Oh, she's got it. Oh, she's got it. How'd you go? Figured it out. Easy? Hard. Easy, easy. Listen to it. I might just drive off, actually. Not that you can see much, the bloody sun's there in the way. Everyone's got to do it, don't they? There you have it. Six mile beach for sunset. And uh, no oysters tonight. It's high tide and it's a bit rough. Sorry about the wind. But you usually get Along this little reef line here, 
get some nice oysters. But anywho, we're gonna kick back, watch the sunset. Check out that. Ripper sunset. The sky's turning a beautiful colour. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but. Beautiful little spot, isn't it? Six mile. Anyway, we're gonna head back and uh, put dinner on. Like uh, another windy day here, Nalu, but um, swell's breaking out there. Hoping this wind bloody drops off, but we'll see how we go. But anywho, check this little pancake mix. Picked it up for a dollar, black and gold. You get that. But um, so I should run up the hill to get some signal. So I'm going to whack some pancakes on, I guess. All it is, add 350 mils of water and shake. Sounds easy to me. Looks like we're having pancakes. Here we are, Tombstones, which is just south of um, the camp, about a K. Pretty decent surf spot. What looks of it, there's a fair few bloggers out there. But um, yeah, let's go check it out, I guess. So we're gonna keep moving. Hey, oh, this is road. This is on the way in and out of Tombstone. And pretty fun. What do you reckon? Bumpy. 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 Yeah, it's only about 150 meters, so still a right pain. So we've pulled up down here at, um, where are we, Sosh? Nalu Bay. Nalu Bay. And um, cooking up a storm here. A couple of jaffles, middle of the day. But anyway, behind us there, a couple of old fellas just backing in, got themselves in a little bit of mischief. Touch wood, they should get out, but um, offered them a hand. If they need it, they'll come over. How's that for a sandwich? Nice toasted sandwich on the K on rear, rear table. Pretty stoked with that. But um, yeah, that's our lunch. So we just come around the point of uh, Nalu Bay. 
and um, check this out. I don't know if you can hear me with the wind, but um, it just looks amazing around here. It's nice and calm as well. So we're going to go for a little snorkel, see what we can uh, see out here. pretty cool. There's a bit of a strong current that comes from right up there and sort of drags you all the way down here, which is pretty cool. You get to see a lot of stuff. I don't know how much come out on the footage there, but that was unreal. That Loads of fish, loads of coral. Just a beautiful little uh, like drag drift across the current there. So we've come down to six mile again, just to see if we can get some oysters off the rocks, but um doesn't look like the tide's low enough again. Spewing, no oysters. I don't like them anyway, so. So yeah, anyway, that's us. Weather's starting to get really nice. Boys down there fishing. And uh, we're gonna head back, put a roast on. So, we're back here. Still bloody windy. But, um, got a roast on. 11 bucks from uh, Coles, I think it was. Probably on there, about 150, still warming up, but there she is. 11 bucks from um, Coles, can't complain I guess. We're gonna probably cut up half, have half, and then um, I guess freeze half or use it for cold meat. Not too sure what we're gonna do there. Oh mate, listen to that. Oh, check that out. Whack the potatoes on quick. There you go. Potatoes on. Beautiful. Nice 
spring there. About half an hour, whack the fire on, and uh, happy days. Can't get much better than that. Beautiful sunset. Sunday roast. With a fire soon to be on. Hey, right. love and life. So we've taken a walk down towards the beach. It's like not even 40 metres. And check that out. I don't know if you can see it with the sun, but there's about 20 to 30 surfers out there and bodyboarders. Absolute dream for surfers. The winds drop right off. It's like a surfer's paradise. But um, absolutely stunning. Stunning place. And the camp sort of runs along there, that line there. But no, beautiful place. How is it? Top notch. Top notch? Mm. How's that? Sunday roast. Just watch the sunset. I'm about to whack this fire on. Can't get much better than that. station. Good little station. Pity about the wind. It's only just um, sort of cleared up on the day we're leaving unfortunately. But, um, nah, didn't get any fishing in. Oh well. That'll be next one in, wouldn't it? If you're lucky. I'm lucky. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.